Are you tired of using the normal ChatGPT 3.5 version that basically does not know anything? And you really want to get GPT-4 with the GPT Plus subscription, but you just don't want to pay the monthly subscription of $20? Well, then this video is exactly for you because in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get access to GPT-4 completely for free. And I know that some people say that you can get GPT-4 for free using Bing AI. And I have personally tried it myself. And I have to say that it's, it is definitely not as good as GPT-4 itself. I, for example, tried some benchmarks on it by using some uh, math problems and it is not able to solve any of them that GPT-4 is able to solve. So, I mean, they do have to have some sort of degraded model with Bing AI, which is uh, probably what I'm guessing. But in this video, I'll show you how you can get the full smartness of GPT-4 and uh, all of its abilities to solve pretty much any difficult problem. So in order to show you guys the capabilities of this model, I'm going to be testing it with a very hard math problem. So we're going to be comparing this free GPT-4 version to normal GPT-3.5 and the Google Gemini AI chatbot. We're going to be giving all of them this function right here and we're going to be telling all of them to integrate it. So if you go ahead and check the integral for this function, as you can see, this is it right here. And this is definitely not a simple problem to solve. In order to integrate this function, you need to do some clever substitution that you're only able to do if you have the state of the art AI model. So I'm going to be keeping the prompt as vague as possible in order to really test the capabilities of this AI models. I'm not going to be helping them with anything or telling them any sort of substitution. They're going to have to do that all on their own. So my prompt to them is simply integrate and then the function itself. As you can see, GPT 3.5 does not get it at all. It makes up just some uh, random stuff and completely hallucinates an answer. And this is the answer that it gives us. And if you go ahead and test our function in this tool right here, you'll be able to see that this is definitely not the right function. They are completely different. And I tried this with the Google's Gemini 2, the free model, of course. And if you go ahead and scroll down here, it makes some stuff up. And this is the answer that it gives us right here. But yet again, if you go ahead and plug this into GeoGebra, you'll be able to see that this is also a different function, which is not the correct integral at all. But then we get into this website. This is called getfirstpage.com. And uh, I will leave a link to this website in the description. And this website is a bit clunky and it isn't the best looking website either, but uh, it does work and it is very functional. So there are some options here that you can choose, but you really don't want to touch any of those. You just want to keep it on no parts because uh, for me, that works the best. And here is where you can type in your prompt. So this is where you can type whatever you want. And uh, keep in mind that for me, this actually only one uh, works one time for every time you visit the website. So if I, for example, give it this prompt right here and it gives me an answer, if I go ahead and type in another prompt, sometimes it does work, but it always forgets what the last prompt was. So you can only ask it one thing at a time and it won't remember any of your previous conversations or anything like that. And if you go ahead and refresh the website, there is also no history. So all of the chats that you had with this AI bot will be deleted automatically. And sometimes when I've already given it a prompt and I go here to type in another prompt, it doesn't even give me an answer. It just keeps on loading forever and it just does nothing. So if I was to use this tool for multiple prompts, I would probably refresh the website every time I'm giving it a new prompt. But uh, now let's just focus on its raw capabilities and problem solving skills that GPT-4 should have. As you can see, I give it this prompt, the same one that I gave to all the other AIs, and basically just said, integrate this function. And then we get all of this right here. And another problem with this tool is that it is not able to display LaTeX. And if you don't know what LaTeX is, it is simply this thing right here, which basically just converts anything that you write into all the symbols or whatever it should be. And it makes it a lot easier to see. So for example, instead of ChatGPT giving you a response like this, which is really, really hard to see, it will simply show you something like this with all the symbols. And this is a lot easier to understand. So because this AI website does not have this, I do have a workaround for this too. What you simply want to do is you want to select all of the response that it gave you by just scrolling down to here. 
and go ahead and copy this. Now you want to go over to this website called quicklatex.com. I will leave a link to this website in the description as well. And you simply want to go right over here and go ahead and paste in the response that the AI gave you. And as you can see, you get an output image here, which basically shows everything very, very nicely. So uh, because the website doesn't have it itself, you have to do this extra step, but it is definitely recommended if you want to see what the response is, especially when it's doing some sort of mathematical questions with a lot of symbols or anything like that. So as you can see, this makes it very, very simple to follow and you'll be able to see everything right here. And this is the final answer that it gave us. So let's go ahead and check if this is the correct one. So we are over here and let's just go ahead and paste this in. We want to remove the plus C term. And as you can see, it is the exact same function. It is written in a different way, but it is exactly the same. So as you can see, this is actually built with the real GPT-4 and it gives you it completely for free. And just so you know, you can also support this website. This is actually a new pop-up that they have started to show here whenever you go to the website. It could be kind of annoying, but uh, basically it is telling you that uh, if you feel like it or if you have some spare income then you should consider donating to the website this basically allows everybody else to be able to get gpt4 and gpt4 turbo for free because of course to be able to use this ai they are having to make api calls which do cost money so if you want to support the website and if you're able to do it, then definitely consider donating to the website, even if it's just something small like $8. But yeah, hopefully this video was entertaining and it helped you out.